Well, welcome back to another mussel uh, fishing film. A lot of you will know that I spent the whole year uh, species hunting uh, for the small boats competition on uh, Facebook. I've loved the competition, however, it's taken a lot out of me. And uh, unfortunately, it's got me very, very stressed when the weather's not right. And, uh, and I've got my days off and I'm ready to go fishing, but the weather's pants, so you can't boat fish. But I've done well, and uh, this is a trip which I've done uh, about a month ago, uh, going up to Scotland. So the trip started uh, on a Friday. I got up very early, it was about 5 a.m. And I planned with uh, Lee Taylor, who skippers Laura Dawn to up in Oban, to go up there for about seven days, sleep on his boat, and try and fish for a grey girded, a ling, and a black mouth dogfish. I actually work on the railway, so I get quite a good discount, so I decided to take the train up there. We got on the train at Eastbourne, we travelled up to Hayward Seath, where we changed for a service to St. Patrick's International. We walked to London, Houston, and there we got the Avanti West Coast train up to Glasgow Central. That journey took about four and a half hours. I think it was a little bit delayed. Um, we sat back, we relaxed, we watched a few bits of Netflix, and uh, we started thinking about the trip uh, to come. When we got to Glasgow Central, we uh, had to walk <laughs> through Glasgow Town Centre uh, to Glasgow Queen Street. Um, I, had, I had rods, a case and a massive backpack uh, with all my gear in it for, the, for, the, for this week to come. <laughs> I must have looked like a pretty, a pretty uh, interesting fella. Queen Street, we got a train from there to Oban, another three hour journey on Scott Rail. A great service that when it's running. Uh, took us through some beautiful scenery, uh, some wet scenery as well, and uh, then finally we arrived in Oban um, around, I think, 8 o'clock in the evening. Lee very, very kindly picked me up from the station and uh, took me to his boat. It's Friday evening, I was, I was absolutely knackered, so we, uh, we, we got to bed and uh, we went to sleep straight away. Now, I'd actually not done a lot of filming at this point, uh, mainly because my mental health again wasn't, wasn't in the right place. I was too busy thinking about this competition and how I'm going to catch these fish, so I hadn't really uh, filmed much on the GoPro. And uh, the first time I got out the GoPro was uh, when the rod buckled over on the Saturday morning early, about half six in the morning, and, uh, and I was in to be first a decent fish. <laughs> Get in! I wasn't doing any filming because I was really... I was in a funny mood this morning. Got a ling! Look! Fabulous! Look, there he is! Oh, angry boy! Got a ling! Fabulous! Get in, I'm gonna get unhooked and put back and I'm gonna explain to you um, what we're up to. Well, wicked, a ling, fantastic. Woke up early this morning, about uh, half six, um, staying in the boat here, and decided just to flick a rod out, um, a couple of rods actually. So obviously we come to Scotland, we had a 11 and a half, 12 hour journey yesterday, traveling up by train. And um, the targets really for myself are a ling, gray gurnard, and a black mouth dogfish. And one of those is ticked off on the first morning, so that is, Awesome. Let's put my mood up there already. I've lost a bit of gear this morning. Um, as you can see, this is where we're fishing. We've got some rocky out patches there. I've had a look on Navionics. There's a big ledge there. If you cast there, the weight goes down the ledge and you lose the gear as it sort of cuts in. But yes, that was a nice little, nice little start to the uh, the trip. Hopefully, we're going to get out of the boat today. Hopefully, the wind ain't too bad and we can actually get out. But time will tell. We're in to a fish. It wasn't it was a very timid bite, so I think it might just be a dogfish. Yeah, it is. Or is it a spur dog? Oh, the doggy. Ooh. Very timid bite, little dogfish. Scottish dogfish. Well, we've caught a little starfish. Look at that. Little, little baby starfish. <laughs> Not quite what we're after. We'll get him back. That outside rod, a little bite there. Just 
put it in a different spot to give it a go. I think he might be on. There he goes. Let's try a feel for him first. Oh, I think he come off. That was a nice fish. That was a nice fish. I felt the head shakes there. Oh, damn it. There's a bank down there, it's a bit sharp and it just pings, pings. Oh no, we have got a fish on. Oh, it's goldfish. <laughs> felt, felt bigger than that. Oh. Yeah, he did feel a bit bigger than that. Um, I think probably where the line was caught around the ledge, it sort of felt like it was a bit more of a, a bit more having a go. But another dogfish, another bait. I'll, uh, I'll get him tea barred off and put him in the bucket. Bites are not not too frequent but uh enough to sort of give you hope that something might come up <laughs> so the uh the bite's really slown up but uh the boat because it's on a swinging mooring uh, basically the boat will point wherever the tide is going um or where the wind is stronger and uh so really we, we can only fish one area but we spoke slightly swinging around which means we're able to sort of target a new area and straight away got a couple of bites in that rod as well little very small little pollock Tiny little Scottish Pollock. They're beautiful fish, aren't they? Absolutely stunning. Get that one back. Just on the little bit speaky and a little bit of lugworm. So, um, try that again. Fish on. I'm hoping it's not going to be another dogfish. A really good bite. Feels quite heavy, but the tide's so strong here. When it goes against a dogfish, <laughs> it's, uh, it obviously feels bigger than it is. I reckon another big doggy. Let's have a look. Yeah, another big dogfish. I grab a big out here. Another doggy. We've had about four or five today. But two in the space of about five minutes. Just shows how they can come on sometimes. Still got to try for that grey gurnard, but there's some snags down there where I think they are, so I've got to wait for the boat to swing over to properly fish for them. But soon we're going to head out actually on the boat and uh, go and target some big fish, hopefully. Well, after a few hours, Lee came out on his little sib. Uh, and picked me up and we went over to the Laura Dawn 2 um, and there we were going to go and steam out into the bay, pop the anchor down um, and go out a little bit around and just try for a grey gurnard um, and also just some, some nice spur dogs. So we went out, we had a little play around and um, we, we caught, some, caught some fish and here's some of the footage from that. So after drifting around a bit, we actually anchored on a piece of sort of muddy shingle. Um, and there we thought we might get a grey gurnard, but it actually turned out that um, the spur dogs were ready to play. So um, yeah, here's some of the footage of us catching some of those. A lot of whiting. Whiting, that's not the way. You never know. It's just muddy, so you won't get anything again. It won't just be just on the end of hard gravel. A couple of rattles on the little speakies and uh, away. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's too whiting. Very exciting. As expected. Get it back down there again. Right, we have a fish on uh, the, the bigger hooks, if you like. We put a whole mackerel on, uh, mackerel head on, 
and, uh, and a little white. Ah, oh, I think he's just dropped off. No, no, he's still there, I think. He's swimming up, he's swimming up. Yeah, there he is. He's still there, he's swimming up. There, he's... Weird fight, very odd fight. Uh, reel's cocked out. No, the reel stopped turning. I think, because I've not... I'll hand him in. Yeah. yeah. Strange. Yeah, I've not. I forgot it wasn't level wine. Sorry. Well, it can't be that big fish if I can pull it. Yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah. There we go. Back in action. <laughs> Just about. There we go. There we go. Stupid me. Oh no, he's all right. Still on. What's he gonna be? Little spur dog. Fish, isn't it? He hasn't bitten us, he hasn't bitten through yet. Yes, there we go. Oh, Taking on the mackerel heads. Lovely. There you go, just a small one. He's probably only, oh, I don't know, three and a half, four pounds, something like that. Not a big one, but nice fish all the same. Let's have a little bit of a fight. Not bad. Let's get back. Right, Lee's in. All of a sudden, those spur dogs have come on the feed. I'm sure I'm get bitten off on this. Yeah, I was going to say, they're, uh, I was a bit nervous on my 60 pounds. Not no. There he goes. Going to grab that net in case we need it. Oh. Double dogfish. <laughs> no double dogfish. The other, one, the other one goes now, we're not paying any attention whatsoever. Now the issue we have is we haven't got 200 pound uh, traces on, so um, they could very easily bite through. In fact, my spur dog actually did bite through, um, just as we were unhooking it, so hopefully it's just hooked in the side of the mouth and not, uh, not anywhere else. That's, that's the aim of the game. <laughs> oh, nice one. Very nice one. Yeah. We just had two in the space of a couple of minutes, so there we go. Very nice. Well done, bud. Happy days. Back to me coffee. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> in again. In again. I was just saying about them feeding in packs. We were spending 20, 25 minutes just chatting away, and uh, this will be number three if it's a spur dog. Third spur. Oh, my rod's going. <laughs> Have a fish on, boys. Oh. I don't think it's a dogfish, though. It feels it's had a, had a couple of lunges, but nah, I don't think it's a doggy. Very surprised if it was a dogfish. He's a spur, but only a small one. Boom, there we go. Lee is in again, and this time I think it might be a slightly bigger one. Or similar. It did take, it did take a little bit of line on that time. So there must just be here, here in a pack. Oh, he's a bit better. That is a nice one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes! That's a much better fish, mate. He's a nice fatty. Yeah. Right, yeah, I reckon he's a good, maybe 16, 17. 
you make 15 on me, yeah. It's hard to say, but she's a, she's a big unit. Yeah, I was going to say, she's still a, a small one. I'm going to, uh, yeah, we're going to go and weigh her in a second. I think we're trying to look for the scales. Which, these ones? Very nice fish. Nice, nice fatty. There you go. Lovely. Look at that. Fabulous. Beautiful creatures. They got cuff, two spines, one here, and then another one there. You don't really want to get them in you. Lovely fish. Well done, buddy. Yeah.